Joel Amber, this campus is usually so vibrant, coming to a standstill at 102, a time chosen to coincide with Monday's shooting. There were three chimes in total, followed by several minutes of quiet UNC Chancellor Dr. Kevin Guskwitz walking towards the bell tower to pay his respects. Afterwards, several students and staff laid flowers in memory of Dr. Yen, a father of two who led a research group here at UNC and has been hailed by colleagues for his kindness and intellect. Over the past couple of days, there's been mixed reaction to the university's immediate response to the shooting. While an alert Carolina notification a warning of an armed dangerous person on or near campus was issued a minute after the shots were fired. Some students were critical of a lack of follow up details, including the location of the shooting. Senior Micah Baldonado wants to see the university take measures to clarify its emergency communications. I was in tears as 20 to 30 minutes passed hearing alerts of a school shooter. My professor continued to teach as did many other professors. Even past class time, teachers continue to teach, which is why UNC Chapel Hill is in need of a clear university-wide procedure for dealing with active shooters on campus. Baldonado is one of hundreds of students who attended a rally outside the South Building this afternoon, which called for action to combat gun violence. Now, coming up at 5, there will be a candlelight vigil tonight here uh, on it. UNC's campus in memory of Dr. Yen will share those details. I'm Michael Perchik, ABC 11 Eyewitness News. Lots of questions, lots of reflection in the midst of a traumatic week in Chapel Hill. Michael Perchik there covering it for us. Michael, thanks.